Hi there, and welcome to another tutorial from me, Adam, also known as Twisted Web 123. Now, today I want to talk to you about the live portfolio. Now, the live portfolio, for those of you who aren't sure, is basically something which shows on the gig when you deliver. So, let's say, for example, you're doing logo designs, business cards, or anything else very visual. Often, what people will do is they'll upload the example to look good in their portfolio. It makes sense, especially for these visual people. The delivery makes sense, it looks good, and it can attract custom. But there's this massive market right now on Fiverr who aren't utilizing the live portfolio and they aren't getting the benefit of that. Now the live portfolio, if done correctly, has a great power to attract users further into your business. Now let me just give you an example again with logo design. Now what you'll often see from logo design is they aren't just randomly uploading the deliverable, instead they're mocking up the design inside of a um, some kind of template or mock-up or something to do with their brand. So for example, let's show you my logo gig. Now on this gig, we can see that my live portfolio matches. So it can create a consistent brand to the user to let them know, hey, this is what it looks like. Now if I do it where it doesn't match and it's just a load of random images, it doesn't look anywhere near as good and it's not attracting the user to want to click through to find out more. It's just a bunch of random images that isn't consistent with how you're branding yourself. And we mentioned this inside the Fiverr podcast in regards to branding. Now, as I say, for a visual design like logos, this works great. But for people inside other niches, they may think to themselves, well, what can I do? Now, using Maddie here, Font Hoard as an example, which I'm sure she won't mind, we can see that she is currently delivering an SEO article. And her live portfolio is a current mismatch of articles that she's done and copyscape information. In the same way that this user here, again, it's a random PDF of an article that she's done. Now this is missing out on the branding aspect or element from looking good inside your portfolio. Just because you're not a visual based gig doesn't mean you can't create a consistent brand or portfolio the way you come across. So what I'm gonna show you here as an example is I'm gonna show you how you can create a nice image to demonstrate in your live portfolio to appeal to users. And as an example, with his permission, I'm gonna show you Mr. Proof Reading, AKA Daniel. Now at the moment, Daniel doesn't have a live portfolio image. He just has one image on his gig and says, hey, this is what we do. He has over 7,000 feedback and he has eight orders in queue. So users are saying, okay, this is what we do. Let's go ahead and order. But he may be, these users may be thinking to themselves, okay, he's doing a thousand words, but can he do my project? Can he do 2000 words? Can he do larger projects? Can he um, edit my marketing ebook? Can he do this? Can he do that? And a whole host of other questions. So what I worked with Daniel on is accrediting him for this other work by demonstrating his live portfolio. Now just uploading a change log is gonna look bad, but it's also gonna highlight the flaw from the users. So instead, what we've put together is an image like this. So this is a consistently branded image with his headshot that he had created on Fiverr and information. Now what has basically been done here is we've said, hey, you've been proofread, 27 corrections found, and then it's a branded image. Now imagine seeing a portfolio of these with different amounts of corrections found and different amounts of information. Now this is gonna brand you in a way that shows more to the user and it's more appealing to them as well as consistently using your brand colors, your imaging and everything else. Now you may think to yourself, well, this looks good, but I have to make this image every single time and that's gonna be a massive pain. That's gonna take longer than I want it to do. So what I've gone ahead and done with Daniel is I've actually built a generation script that automatically makes these images for him. So all we have to do, if I show you the URL here, is we have the URL in place, and inside this URL, it's got the number, which is 27. Now we can change this to say 54. And now it says 54 corrections found. We can change this to 945. And it's 945 corrections found. We can change this to 9,999. And again, it's 9,999 corrections found. So all Daniel has to do is right click, save this image on automatic generation and send it through to his buyers. In the same way that I've gone a step further for myself and I've created an automated report. Now what we're gonna see here is basically, I not only mention the improvements that are found on someone's website, but I automatically screenshot the website as well. 
So again, if inside the URL, if I change it from fiverr.com to say google.com and I found 15 improvements, I go ahead and generate that. And there we see it's automatically picked up Google and the improvements found. So all I need to do is save this image and send it through. So the first thing you need to take away from this tutorial is if you aren't a visual gig, you should still be utilizing the live portfolio. Showcasing, for example, me here that I've reviewed Google or I've reviewed Fiverr or the amount of different people that I've worked with, it kind of gives a breakdown of my feedback. So with Daniel, rather than see, hey, he's worked with 7,000 people, you help to quantify that by showing your live portfolio and saying, hey, he's edited this document with 50 different corrections, this one with 40, this one with 60, and it helps to give a visualization of what you're actually delivering so you receive the same benefit and the same kind of appeal that visual gigs do with the live portfolio, with logo design, business cards, etc. So you can go ahead and the first thing you need to do is create that image. You can take it a step further like I have here if you want to and have the automatic generation, but obviously that may require some coding knowledge or something else. I have provided a link with inside the forum post about this um, to the scripts or resources that I've used to create this, which you're more than interested to go through and check out. But this was just a quick demonstration to talk about all those users out there who aren't using the live portfolio to consistently pitch their brand, their colors, or accredit the work that they're doing by visually demonstrating what they're doing in a consistent way, rather than, as I say, apologies, Maddie, but coming back to Maddie, where we have random different things in the portfolio that make no sense to the standard user. So again, hopefully that's been helpful for you. This is just a quick one today, but I hope you can take some idea or information from this.